miss? Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Did you forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just... I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You did it. Did you? Of course not. If he asked where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. Uh, sorry. and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how... how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Master? Young Master? Young Master! Let's go. 
Young master? Masato-san. Oh my goodness! Are you all better? I can't believe it! Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Hey. Hi. No. <sighs> Yo. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words! You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. 
that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, you san what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiichi, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! Sorry, I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's just... <laughs> My mother has the exact same one! <laughs> huh? Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. My girl, I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How, 
How much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday, let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, uh, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure! But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So, you could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Young Master, how long have you been there? Um, Young Master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Sounds good. Ten and a bit. 
What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. <sighs> All the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Wow. Excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? This bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? There... there is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? When you can't earn for the family?! <laughs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt? You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza, anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. <laughs> if you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. You saved my ass back there. 
Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu, and some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah. And you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You've probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I loved someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me for bringing shame to the Patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. 
When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Akane? Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Nay, I got away, but they're not far behind. I, I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. Quick the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What, our baby in a locker? What are you saying? Don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry! Put the baby in a locker! No. Okay. Take good care of him. Akane! Hey! There she is! That's her! Go, go, go! Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Sh shit! This is my child. Hey, are you okay? Damn it! Move! Move! <laughs> I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure 
due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath, I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm-hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in the seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep. But, I wonder if we can find it in Kambochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. Seriously? Hey! You guys open? We need Peking Duck! Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. He won't get away from us next time! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. 
The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? Ah, sounds good. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off! Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at soap lands, even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working-class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. What? N never! You're... Everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza, who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name-dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa 
personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Otaki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Alright then. Let's go, you little shit. Uh, I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I think... <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Gorakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Man, that Oden is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing.
Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Oh, just wait till you see what I can do! It's in game! The battle is on! Cool! Chiangare! Come on now! Check this out! You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on! At least thank the boss! It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink. <laughs> 